Hey everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners, where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video, I'll be showing you how to polish faded paint on a trailer. Beyond trailers, this can also be used on other glossy painted surfaces. This will even work on a vehicle's paint. I'm still slowly cleaning up the trailer. While it is hard to see, the white paint is mildly scuffed and oxidized. This method can be used in a variety of painted surfaces. It's only intended to remove light surface imperfections, so you will see some of the harsher damage, but it will certainly be an improvement. First, it's important to wash the trailer, removing any dirt on the surface, which can cause any issues during the polishing process, such as additional scratches. If the trailer is important and you're looking for a top quality shine, then I'd recommend using a clay bar too. However, I won't be getting into that for this trailer. Once dry, using a polisher, here I have a rotary style, an orbital style can also be used as well. With a rotary style, there is more chance of burning through the paint, so be mindful of that. This trailer has aluminum painted panels, and I believe this is a single stage paint, meaning there is no clear coat. I am using a polishing compound, there are various manufacturers available on the market. The one I have was purchased at a local auto parts store, and can also be purchased at a big box store. As for a pad, this is a light polishing foam pad. They are typically color coded and can vary between manufacturers. Apply the polish to the pad. Typically I would recommend dabs across the pad. Watch for any sling when starting the polisher. You can drag or dab the pad across the surface to prevent this. As you can see there is a small scuff. This method can be used to remove that along with oxidation improving the shine of the paint. Only apply light to medium pressure and work across the surface. Don't hold the polisher in one spot as it can burn through the paint. Then follow up with a soft cloth to remove a leftover polish. Here's a couple before and after comparisons between the newly polished surface and the existing paint. The size of the area you work with will depend on your weather conditions along with what you're comfortable with. Try not to work in direct sunlight as this can dry the polish making it harder to work with. While it is hard to see here on white, there is still a noticeable difference in the surface clarity. After that, I can work section by section. Extra care is needed around the fasteners, panel edges, and a decal, so take your time. This trailer is from 2006 and all original, so the paint seems to have held up fairly well over the years. It most likely didn't see any maintenance as compared to what a car may experience. When done, the paint is now bare, so you can finish up with a wax or sealant to protect the surface. Here I have Carnalba wax, I'm using whatever I had laying around. This will protect the paint and help repel some dirt. Using a microfiber pad to apply the wax to the paint, allow it to haze over the surface. This takes about 15 minutes but can vary between products and weather conditions. Then give it a final polish using a microfiber cloth. If you have any lights, trim pieces or any other items that you don't want wax to come in contact with, you can tape off those areas. And here's the final finish. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home DIY videos. Thank you for watching.